Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. We're going to see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. Take the messages that resonate. Okay, this can be past, present, or future. Roles can be reversed, guys. You can be a cross watcher. So let's see here for Aquarius. Holy angels, the divine spirit guides guiding the collective here on the other side what is your message for aquarius at this time do not want to go in jesus let's see empress in reverse the four of swords okay so we have an empress in the reverse here we're dealing with a feminine energy that is uh very disempowered insecure jealous um, controlling yeah they can be very manipulative here two of wands they made a choice here the devil when it comes to binding someone to them when it comes to something toxic um, or they did something out of jealousy I mean the devil can also speak of obsession wrath jealousy so this Empress in Reverse could be very jealous, okay? This could be a baby mama. So they did something out of their own jealousy and rage maybe, okay? Let's see. Who is this Empress in Reverse? The Page of Cups. Yeah, so is this somebody that could be very emotionally immature? Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. So they went towards the Hierophant energy. This could be someone in authority. This could be a judge. This could be someone with a title. This could even have something to do with marriage. Because that's kind of like the theme of the week, guys. You know, you know how it is. I always have like themes of the week. So what's the two of wands? Knight of Cups in reverse jealous. Yeah, this is an energy of someone that is so jealous unrequited love this is someone that got rejected okay and they couldn't handle rejection very well because they're highly insecure they're a disempowered feminine energy so they this is someone that compares themselves a lot to others okay and then they act out of their jealousness and their obsession they act out on it though it's not just something that they keep to themselves they actually act out on it too with the knight of swords and the two of wands okay so this is not something that they're actively, you know, looking at, realizing that it's an issue and actively working on healing this. This is something that has then taken this person over and actually driven them to do certain things or take action. Okay. With the two of wands. With the king of swords. There he is. And here's the man of the week. The king of swords. And the ace of coins in reverse they didn't want to lose out on an investment they didn't want to lose out on some sort of money right because that's what life is about for these people anyways what's the devil the queen wants <laughs> i can't even make it up these two are the only two i swear besides the king of wands that have been coming out in like all of the readings of the week this is a scam couple this is the scam married couple. This is their time to shine. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Here's these two. Fake married couple. Okay, hold on. Where's my music? I need my shamanic drumming, okay? I haven't had this shit on in so long, but since last night I was like, I need some I need some drumming going on here cuz this is some crazy shit. Okay? So here's these two. Here's macho Mr. Ma macho man misogynist, okay? And then here's Queen of Wands disempowered insecure jealous feminine energy that couldn't deal with rejection very well okay coming out right underneath the devil so this is empress in reverse here this is this feminine energy that doesn't have any control over their own uh jealousy and obsession right no they don't magician in reverse so they decided to create an illusion yeah and they thought this would be a great idea because they're they're they're, they're being autopiloted by their shadow side. 
right? It's like they're not even in control anymore of their own vessel at this point. All they think about is how jealous they are and how insecure they feel and how angry they are because something is unrequited and they got rejected and somebody didn't want to be with them, okay? So they, you know, they went the, they went the other route. Instead of going towards healing and looking within and working on their own insecurities and self-confidence, okay, working on their own self-value and realizing that rejection, you know, isn't something that has to eat you alive. You can heal through that. They went the complete other way of going, oh, I'm going to live out of my jealousy and out of my obsession and out of my angry side now and uh, take it up a notch, okay? <clears throat> What's the Empress Reverse? Tower. Yeah, so something was shocking to this person. They felt like their whole life was falling apart. They felt like everything was ending for them. It was a faulty foundation that was coming down. Okay, so if this is the person that's going through the divorce, the 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 foundation that was crumbling and being brought down was by divine order. It was meant to happen. It was meant to crumble. This, this marriage was meant to fall apart because it was not meant to last. It was not built to stay. It was not, it was not like ordained by the divine. It was not a divine union. Okay. This, this marriage was built on the fact that this is a disempowered, insecure, feminine energy that needs other people to feel safe. She latched onto a masculine because she doesn't feel secure on her own. Okay, this is a this is a this is somebody that like baby traps, marriage traps. Okay, she reeled someone in and then like bound them to her, and it was a faulty foundation that needed to crumble because it wasn't healthy neither for her nor for the masculine energy. It was supposed to come down. It was supposed to fall apart. It was meant, and it had for a very, very long time. And even then, she couldn't handle it. Which was meant to show her what, what needed healing within. But some people cannot take the pain. The pain is so unbearable to them that they would rather resort to doing some crazy shit like this rather than actually go through the pain and the healing. This is... The ultimate pick me. This goes beyond just pick me. This goes, oh, if you don't pick me, I'm going to chain you to me for the rest of your life. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, that is just like a whole nother level of, girl, you need a therapist. Okay? I'm just saying. The two of swords. Yeah, so in denial. This person was absolutely in, they're in denial. They don't live in clarity. They don't live in reality. They ha are in complete denial of why this marriage fell apart. They're like, it can't be. And I refuse to accept it. Like, this is even someone that, I honest, honestly, there, there was probably a separation here for a very long time. Two people completely separated, but this person still felt safe in the idea of not being completely divorced. You get what I'm saying? Like, even though they're separated, they don't live together anymore. There's nothing, no contact, no intimacy, no life, no union. There's nothing between these two people. They still felt safer being married as if it's like a trophy, like a badge, like, yeah, I'm married. Like, girl, that's not what it's about. I mean, they were living in la-la land. This is complete delusional la-la land, okay? And they, these people could have been separated for like close to, I don't know, 10 years, five years, five to 10 years, separation, nothing between them. Yet they lived in this like fantasy of denial that it was over. It's like this person never even got closure or accepted the end of the relationship because the divorce hadn't got hadn't happened. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, who wants to live like that? I can't imagine being married to someone yet being separated but still feeling 
like there's a cord there. I mean, that's an, that's in essence what this is. It's like she felt safe with that cord being there and she wanted to cord that person permanently, even if there was nothing between them, no intimacy, no contact, nothing, no relationship. The cord is what counted. And that is absolute fantasy, denial, and delusion. Okay? It's like, it's like, this is the ultimate level of like, if I can't have you, no one can. That's what this is. If I can't have you, no one can. Because you're going to stay married to me. It, that's why I'm saying it's like the ultimate pick me. It's like this person like reveled in the idea of knowing that no one will ever be as important as her. And that is an insecurity. She's tying her self-worth to the fact that this man is married to her. Because in her demented and like distorted mind, she sees her importance as this person can never replace me because we're still married. So I will always be more important than anyone that comes after me. Like it's, it's total insecurity. It's like, that is why this foundation crumbled. That is why it came crumbling down and they were forced into a divorce because they needed to heal this aspect of themselves. And instead of doing the fucking work, they turned around and bomb, trapped this person back into them, back onto them with a cord. I mean, that is honestly, like, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? I don't, I'm sorry. But like, you know, I'm always, I always want to encourage people to heal. Okay? But they need to do the healing work themselves. They need to recognize that they have an issue. That they actually have a problem. Okay? So, you know, I would hope for this person that they find the healing. But doing stuff like this, I just, I don't have any patience for it. I don't have any... Like, I can't empathize with this. This is ridiculous to me. What's a tower? A cassette. Outdated thinking. Outdated thinking. Yeah, that's what this is. Outdated thinking. Replaying events over in your, in your head. A cassette. Yeah, they wanted to trap this masculine in a loop. In a loop with them forever. It's like, you can never leave me because I'm going to keep... You know, just like a cassette. You know how you had to, like, you could um, take the... Uh, the the bands and like wind them back yeah yeah that's what she wanted to do with this marriage over and over and over. we can just wind it we can just rewind it to the back and we can just start over and then someone wants to leave them and they're like no we can just wind it back wind it back wind it back wind it back it's just weird uh, yeah that's what this is. It's complete codependence, obsession, possession, controlling. This queen of wands wanted to possess someone like they are her property. And that's where I wonder if healing is enough because honestly, this is something that a therapist I think has to look at because if you want to possess another human being then you no longer see this person as a sentient being you see them as an object so why does she want to be married to someone so bad because in reality all she wants to do is possess and control this person as if they were her property that is a little bit sociopathic if you ask me, okay? No value for this other person's needs, desires, wants, and feelings. All she cares about is her own obsession and her need to control someone. This queen of wands is coming out underneath the devil. She has a shadow side and it's not pretty, okay? Possessive and I, I just keep getting possessive. She wants to possess them. She wants to she wants the cord to be there forever because if she possesses this man and is can stay married to this man even though this man thinks that they are divorced. That's like a sick fantasy. She like lays in bed at night and knows and like smiles and 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 like uh smiles and laughs to herself like <laughs> he thinks he's divorced but 
Actually, he's still married and he doesn't even know. He's still mine. He's mine forever. That's like, that's, she's treating this man as if he's a trophy. And it's like her sick fantasy that she has fulfilled that he is hers forever. It's like, it's actually sick. Like with this energy, I'm getting like strong sociopath that wishes she could like chain this person in her basement and then like pet him. You're mine. You're mine. Like... No words. What's the page of cups? Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, this poor man wanted to free himself. Or he did. He tried to, at least. He tried. He tried multiple times. He probably tried many times. And then you've got this karmic over here, okay? This obsessed, possessive, controlling queen of wands who goes, oh, you want to leave me? No, I'm going to wind that tape back. I'm going to keep winding it back and I'm going to keep you with me. And you can never leave me because I control you and you're my possession and my object forever. You're never going to leave me. My God. Nine... <laughs> Nine of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, codependent, super codependent on other people, and not just with money, but with energy. She's an energy vampire. She's a succubus. She's a Jezebel. That's what she is. She's a Jezebel in all senses of the word. She is a Jezebel, and I don't think I have ever said that word on my channel in any videos ever. But with her energy, this Queen of Wands that did this to a man, I can only honestly say she is a Jezebel spirit. Codependent. Cannot do anything on her own. Wants to trap and bind people to her because she wants to possess them. Disgusting. What's the Knight of Swords? Emperor in reverse. She's controlling. She Her energy has come out Emperor and Empress in reverse. Wow, that's got to say something to you. Very dictatorial, authoritarian, disempowered, not a strong leader, very insecure, weak leader, controlling, possessive, obsessive. The justice card. Yeah, she went straight to the justice system here. Hierophant and justice. To create an illusion about a new beginning. What a sick fantasy. What a sick delusional fantasy. This person needs a psychological evaluation. Okay. They do. That is some next level obsession. That is some next level Delusion, that is next level sociopathic behavior. Someone wants to leave you. Someone wants to divorce you after years of misery and hell. And this bitch goes behind that person's back, goes back to the courthouse and blocks the divorce without their not, that person wasn't even present. They don't even know. I can't even get over this. If, they, if this Jezebel actually did that, that is insane to me. And she did it for money. What's justice in the higher fence? She did it for money. A family room. <laughs> That's how you make a family these days? I guess for some women, that's how you make a family these days, right? You find a man that you say, I want that one. That one is my possession. I want to possess that one. He is my trophy now, right? Then you bind them. Then you get pregnant all of a sudden. Oh, oops, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Then you basically, um, you know, beat this person into marrying you by guilt tripping them until they do and pressuring them. This is the epitome of the shut up ring. If you don't know what a shut up ring is, Google it. This lady got a shut up ring. That's for sure. That's for sure. Definitely. 
Okay. I cannot make it up. Oh man, yeah, she conned this masculine into a trap. She trapped this person. She trapped them. She is a conniving sociopath that trapped this man into a marriage, into her being in his life forever with children. She did this calculated. I mean, they do this. Yes, they do. People do do this. They do get people, they do get pregnant on purpose because they think now you're going to be with me for the rest of my life. You can never leave me if we have children together. Guilt shamed this person into marrying her until she got a shut up ring. And then when they wanted to divorce, she trapped them again. By going in front of the judge with her, with the king of swords, body double, doppelganger, twin brother. What a sick fantasy. I can't even get over that. I cannot even get over that, how sick this is to me. Tell me about imprisonment. Oh God, I can't even make, I can't make it up. Bode, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah, she had closure issues. Like I said, this, this man and her separated. 100% they were separated for many, many years. And even before they separated or they moved out, this man, 100% the kind of marriage where they were sleeping in separate rooms, sleeping on the couch, no longer sleeping together, nothing. That man was over it. He wanted to move out, move on. She had closure issues. So what does she do? Trap him. Oh, you wanna leave me? I'm pregnant. Oh, you want to leave me? No, we're getting married. Oh, you want to leave me and divorce me? Watch me appeal this divorce behind your back. You're never going to leave me. It's really sick. What's the two of wands? Paradise. So she made a choice because she felt like this is what's going to make her happy. This was going to bring in joy for her life if she makes this decision, right? <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> totally imbalanced person here. King of Wands. Okay, so here's the King of Wands. Who's this King of Wands? Here's the King of Wands that came in and said, you're going to make this choice and pretend like you're happy together. Three of Swords. What is this? Who's this King of Wands? If you don't make this choice, you're not going to get paid. Ace of Coins in reverse. You're not going to get this money if you don't do this. I can't even make it up. I can't. Sudden Wealth in reverse comes out right when I say that. You're not going to get the money if you don't do this. Same thing that came out with Libra. This is the King of Wands. This is the person that um, blackmailed them. Yeah, go back to high honor. You're going to go back to high honor. You're going to go to the courts and you're going to do this, this, and that. The wealthy man. Yeah, this wealthy man. This is the King of Wands. He said, if you want to work with me and if you want this money, then you're going to do this, this, and that. You're going to go and you're going to get, you're going to appeal the divorce. If you want this money from me. You're not getting any money unless you do this, isn't that? She sold her soul to the devil when she did that. I mean, whatever that was left of it with this kind of behavior anyways. What's the Three of Swords? Heartbroken in reverse, chaser in reverse. Yeah, to stop a breakup. They stopped a breakup. Chaser in a codependent relationship in reverse. Explain that to me. The world. Yeah, because <laughs> if this cycle had closed out, 
if this divorce had gone through, something about their narrative wouldn't have made sense. The Nine of Cups. The Four of Wands. Something about a home. Something about a happy home, a home, a property. They claimed that what they were moving in together. They claimed that they were moving in together or they were going to live together again, or they were going to move towards happiness together. Yeah, Knight of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, they're under judgment for this action that they took here, King of Swords. It's the King of Swords that did this. He's under judgment for the action that he took here because he told the judge, he told High Honor that he has decided he's going to choose the Queen of Wands and go towards a happy home or something like that. Yeah, and they blocked the divorce, Seven of Wands. <laughs> justice, and they blocked it, Justice. They blocked it in court. That was their idea. That was the choice that they made. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Abundance so that they could get money, so that they could manifest exactly what they want and keep a positive mindset with abundance. Yeah, they did it for money. But they're not going to be able to hide anymore. They're not going to be able to pretend anymore. Now their mask is slipping off. Everybody's going to see what they did. And everybody's going to see the true face of this King of Swords imposter. Yeah, they're not going to be able to wear this mask any longer. Hiding, pretending, using someone else's identity, hiding behind a fake name. Over. The relationship is not over. They, yeah, no second chances in reverse. Yeah, they claim that they're giving something a second chance. That they get, that they're giving something a second chance now. They want to have some. They want to have a second chance in their marriage or something stupid like that. So, what's the Knight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the truth is coming out now, though, about this unrequited love, because that's what it was. That's why someone filed for divorce, because it was unrequited. This man did not want to be with the Queen of Wands anymore. He was fed up, he was over it, and he had been waiting a long time for that court date. Now the truth is going to come out about this, and how jealous this Queen of Wands was, truly. Yeah, that's the truth. I, that's the truth. That is the truth, is that she's the one that got rejected. The Queen of Wands is the one that got rejected because someone wanted a divorce. And that's a, that, that is the motherfucking truth. That she couldn't handle rejection. She couldn't handle the fact that something was unrequited and someone didn't love her and someone didn't want to be with her. Because she doesn't understand feelings like that. She's a sociopath. All she understands is, but you're mine and you're my property and you belong to me and I licked you so you're mine and you're, gonna, you're not going to leave me. I, I'm not going to allow you to leave me. No wonder they were separated for so long. If you've got someone hanging on your ankle like this that refuses to let you go, right? And that's the truth. Someone was unhappy, not even just during the separation, but throughout the whole marriage, basically. But someone felt stuck. If you've got someone like this on your side that's basically bound you and trapped you, thinks that they have possession over you, thinks that they control you, it's not easy because you know what that is? That's abuse. That is an abusive relationship. Women can be abusive too. And this one was definitely abusive. It's an empath narcissist paradigm. There was a masculine energy here that is an empath dealing with a narcissistic sociopathic queen of wands that felt trapped in a marriage for a very long time. Then they got separated. And then even the divorce got blocked from this crazy person. And that's the truth. Really. 
someone had let go. Someone had let go. In this relationship, this masculine energy was ready to let go of the old. They had released the they had released the past. They were ready to let go of the past. They were ready to get out of the marriage. They had released that past. They did not want to go back ever. Ever. The Three of Pentacles. And then this, and then these people here, this Queen of Wands, King of Swords, King of Wands, all got together and said, Well. We don't really care about what other people want. We only care about one thing, and that's money. So you're going to stop this from happening. Right? So tell me about the devil. The four of wands. Lied about a happy home. Lied about a property, or what is this? Not getting a gift. Not getting a gift of a happy home, of a of a union, of a property. Why does a house keep coming out? A message of concern. So someone got a message of concern that they're not going to receive a gift. That they're not going to get a gift that has to do with a with a with a property. What's the devil? Yeah, this is this person's energy, honestly. This devil is just this queen of wands again. Frustrated in a relationship, jealous, lacking confidence, insecure, obsessive, possessive, controlling, and jealous. Because somebody wants to break up with them and leave them. Somebody has been giving them the silent treatment. Somebody is abandoning them and they couldn't take it. And it was a message of concern for them, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so why is this Queen of Wands here? The Three of Cups, the third party. She's the third party and she wants to be the third party forever. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. Like I said, she doesn't care as long as she's still married on paper, right? She doesn't give a fuck that she's the third party. That's the unconventional string along. She is the third party. And she wants to be the third party because in her sick fantasy as a sociopathic um, insecure narcissist that she is, she believes that, you know, you can go and fuck whoever you want as long as I'm your wife. I'm special because I'm the wife. I'm the third party that nobody wants around because I appeal to divorce behind someone's back. But as long as I'm the third party, right, I don't really care. Fucking weirdo. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're never going to leave me. I'm never going to allow you to leave me. Or this is just her. Couldn't move on. Couldn't let go. Couldn't release the past. Couldn't move on to calmer waters. Queen of cups in reverse. Insecure, jealous, emotionally imbalanced, sociopathic narcissist. That's what she is. I'm sorry, but that's what keeps coming out for her energy. Yeah. She doesn't know how to love. She doesn't know how to love. She doesn't know what love is. She doesn't have any self-love. She doesn't know what unconditional love is. There's no passion here. There's no affection, no attraction here. And it made her absolutely jealous, insecure, very manipulative, calculated, heartless. She's heartless. Karmic relationship in reverse. Yeah, someone didn't want the karmic anymore. Letting go and loving you in reverse. She didn't want, she can't let go. She can't let go. She can't feel, uh, she can't deal with the lessons. She can't face the turmoil. She didn't want to deal with it. Someone wanted to get rid of the karmic relationship. She didn't want to, made her jealous. She couldn't let go and love herself. What's the magician reverse? Four of pentacles. Needing control. Of the king of pentacles. I can't even make it out. She wants control. 
over this man. That's what this is about. She wants to control him. She wants to possess him. This is mine. This is my person. This is my husband. This is mine. I possess this person. They belong to me. You can never leave me. I'm not going to let you leave me. And if you want to divorce me, I'm going to appeal the divorce. You're never going to leave me. You're a fucking psycho, okay? No wonder he wants to leave you. Honestly, I wouldn't blame him. I don't blame this man at all for wanting to leave this person. She's possessive, controlling, obsessive, and psycho. Yeah, that's what she is. Queen of Swords. And I'm going to speak it how it is too. That's the truth. I'm going to speak it exactly how it is. Queen of Swords. Yeah, that's what's going on here. She's a sociopath who has a sick obsession and fantasy of this person being chained to her for eternity. He's mine. He's my husband. I'm going to keep him forever. You're never going to have my husband. <laughs> He doesn't want to be your husband, girl. Get the memo, okay? He doesn't want to be it. It's just sick at this point. It's weird. Page of Cups. Fucking weird. Tower. Knight of, yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. She's just, she's extremely manipulative, extremely conniving, narcissistic, sociopathic, acts before thinking, Emotional immaturity of a child. Nina wants, doesn't want to give up. Extremely stubborn. Because all she cares about is the money. Extremely materialistic, greedy, selfish. Who wants to win the competition? I'm going to win. I'm going to win. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to win. Oh, you want to be with someone else? You want to pick that girl over me? I don't think so. I'm going to win. And I'm going to win by appealing this divorce. And I'm going to make sure that you're married to me forever. And you're never going to get to be with anyone else besides me. Because I'm the winner. And I'm a sociopath that wants to possess you. And you're mine forever. Fucking weirdo. Break up. A fucking weirdo that can't handle a breakup, okay? Can't handle rejection. This relationship is over. It's been over for a long, long, long ass time. The only person that hasn't gotten that into their brain is sociopathic Queen of Wands, apparently, okay? Time to get the memo. This man doesn't want you. They don't want to be with you. They're never going to want you. And just because you chain yourself to them by doing shit like this doesn't make you better. It doesn't make you the winner. It actually makes you the loser because it makes you look pathetic and desperate. Okay? Delusional. And now they're trying to sit there trying to uh, stop, stop the truth from coming out about the past. What they did with the king of wands in the past yeah they don't want anybody to find out how pathetic and desperate and embarrassing they are really because they can't move on and again king of cups and the hermit why does this king of cups keep coming out huh i don't know something that they were doing here oh fake profile hermit fake profile Right, the fake profile that the Queen of Wands was running, right? Some sort of catfishing. King of Cups catfish energy here. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. <laughs> That's the energy she gives me. Three of Pentacles, working together with others because she wants to be the winner. The winner. She's only a fucking loser, if you ask me. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Now she's stressed and now she's paranoid and stressed out and worried about this marriage because it's not a marriage. It's a sham. It's a scam. It's actually a divorce that she blocked purposely. And I bet she's terrified. I bet she is. <laughs> she's terrified of this being exposed because all she wanted to be was the winner, right? Winner of what exactly? Not a good look. Not a good look at all. Yeah. Closing words. It has something to do with a home. A property, a home. 
Why does the Four of Wands keep coming out? That's come out like three times. What's the Four of Wands? A family home. Something that they told the judge about moving in together, a home, or an address. Oh, you mean so that that paperwork doesn't get sent to this person's house? The husband who doesn't have a fucking clue that they're still married to this bitch? Yeah. Is that what this is about? Some sort of letters, documentation, official business that's being rerouted to someone else's house? Is that what this is? What they did to block. What they did to block. The moon in secret. Yeah, their secret. <laughs> High priestess. Yeah, there's no secrets here. Nice try, though. Nice try. What is this Four of Wands, though? This is giving me, like, something about a home or a shared home because they're pretending that they're married when they're not, okay? So something about a shared home, maybe, or an address, and they're in despair about it. Yeah, I bet they are. I bet they are. I bet they are a mature woman here. Or there's a mature woman in despair because of a home and a privileged lady. <laughs> what? And the path that they chose. Or is this like family court? I don't know. And the main male. What is this Four of Wands? Is it a home? Is it a community? Is it a family? A union? A mature woman and a privileged lady are in despair about the path that they chose. What path? With a mature man. Oh, with the King of Wands. Yeah. And, oh, and their plan. Their whole plan. The whole plan that they had here. Yeah. To do something absolutely corrupt and illegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, corrupt and illegal. Nice. Nice. Journey. And this is how they thought that they were going to move forward with a house. Why does this keep coming out? Something with a house. We'll find out in the next reading, I think. Or in the next couple of readings. I'm going to leave it at that, guys, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. I think the most important part about it is that everybody's freaking out right now and they're paranoid and they feel like they're living in a nightmare because they don't want this to come out, but it's coming out. They can't stop it. This is going to be exposed, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye.